capture the lead. They're up by two. Here's Hawkins from three. Yes, he 41. Bones. Oh, wild shot. So Marcy able to hit with the runner. Bones. So Charlotte able to maintain possession. Shot clock is made. Bones with the opening. Hawkins. Hawkins and a crowd got it off and drew the foul. Charles Barkley in Philadelphia. They used to run a little bit of freelance stuff. Although you're with Charles, he's going to hold the ball most of the time. Hawkins came up with that steal. Face dribble by Michael Jordan. Well, Hersey Hawkins getting back a little bit slowly from the free throw situation, but just in time to get the steal. And then Muggsy Bones, who doesn't do this very often, sets his sights for a three pointer as Michael Jordan. In the turnover department, the Bulls with 11 and the Hornets with five. Five in the third quarter. Jordan. He's been hitting the jump shot today. Foul. As this turnaround jump shot by Michael Jordan can't get it, and Will Purdue, who has had his problems, Mercy Hawkins, an 87 percent free throw shooter, not hitting on that dual rhythm like that. Instead of having just stand and the whole offense just watching him. And earlier we were talking about the success the Hornets uh, have had here at home, but as the alley oop for morning, able to feel this. Shots. Good coach. Rejected by Powell. Good coach looks for the goal tag. Here falls. Bill Jackson calling for time. For Charlotte. And then Robert Paris paying dividends for the Hornets. Turns away Tony Kukoc here for another fast break opportunity for the Hornets as Muggsy does a beautiful job of spinning on Armstrong to give the Hornets a six-point lead. An outstanding ball handler is Muggsy, and so low to the ground, so difficult to do anything with as far as pressing or trapping. So that's something that the Charlotte Hornets do not have to worry about. Hey, really, you have to take your hat off to Larry Johnson coming down the stretch here. He's taken the challenge to defend Michael Jordan one on one, and Michael's trying to take it to him. 15 points. Hornets lead 100 to 89. A minute 40 to go in this fourth quarter. Johnson with the good one. That is a season high for Alonzo. Here's Bones. Curry for three. Johnson is fouled. Well, Muggsy Bogues is ecstatic right now. He felt the, the weight of the world in his shoulders by missing that shot at the end of regulation. He went up to the owner, George Shin, after the game and said, my fault, boss. It was in my hands. I should have won the ball game. And George Shin put his arms around and said, hey, we would have never been that close without you. He's got to feel great. Alex Charlotte, 